Valley News Live 10 at 10 continues with no wait weather. Well, our storm system slowly exiting the valley, but we've still seen the impact of it in the form of clouds and some freezing mist and snowflakes across the area. Thank you. We heard you say something about cold air down the road. There is some mighty cold air coming mm -hmm. our way. I'll update you on that. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we saw around the region today. This photo uploaded to ValleyNewsLive.com by our friend Derek down near Hankinson capturing a rainbow. What makes this so interesting as we begin the month of December Rainbows are caused by liquid water drops in the atmosphere, sunlight bouncing off the back of those water drops, bending from white light into the colors. So we had rain in the atmosphere today in southeast North Dakota, falling down to the ground, even though we saw temperatures close to freezing. Mostly cloudy skies, a few areas of flurries continue, mainly in the central portion of the Dakotas. So we take a look at the big picture, most of the snow moving off toward the Great Lakes, way out to the east and northeastern United States, near Maine. Most of the nation, though, for the time being, pretty quiet as we see temperatures slipping toward those mid-20s right now. 27 Valley City, Jamestown, 27, 27 in Roseau. As we look out to Bemidji, Babe the Blue Ox bundling up at 25 degrees. It's 30 in Breckenridge with 28 in Detroit Lakes. Here's a look at those wind chill indices. Most areas, winds under 10 miles per hour, but it feels like it's in the middle teens in Langdon and out near the Devil's Lake area. As we go through the overnight hours, mostly cloudy skies, some areas of fog, some areas of drizzle and snowflakes as we go through the overnight hours and spotty slippery roads a possibility so watch out as you start your morning it's going to be chilly on our friday morning and as we head toward midday we don't warm up too much mid maybe upper 20s in a few southern locations northwest winds not too strong five to ten miles per hour we will not see too much in the way of sunshine for your friday in the morning now as we go toward the afternoon we could see a few breaks in the clouds out west but look at this only modest temperatures in the 20 to 25 degree range for many locations. A few upper 20s possible into the late afternoon. And we cool off fairly quickly for our Friday evening. So your planner for Fargo, starting your Friday at 25 degrees. That's a chilly start as we see north winds at 7 miles per hour staying fairly steady out of the north-northwest. Only 30 for your midday hour and 31 at 5 o'clock, so we stay pretty steady in those upper 20s and low 30s throughout the day without much fluctuation in temperature thanks to a lack of sunshine. A lot of clouds across the valley, a lot of upper 20s out there for our afternoon, maybe a few mid 20s in the Devil's Lake Basin. Here's a scene Lindenwood Park, snowflakes falling out of the sky, sticking to the grass, but not the uh, asphalt out there. Thanks so much, Alicia, for sharing that picture. Now, let's talk about Saturday. A warm front moves towards us. Temperatures go up into the mid-30s, but when warm fronts move in, there'll be a chance for some rain, sleet, and even a few flakes of snow coming late on Saturday night. It will not have an impact on the Bison game. As we take a look at Sunday, 37 degrees, thanks to that warm air in the area, but then Things change around. Monday, a slight chance of some snow across the region. This is a pretty fast-moving cold front, so it will not dump the major amounts of snow that the last system did. But behind it, a pool of cool air that is right now up in portions of northern Alaska and actually out in portions of northern Asia right now. Look at the pink coming down as we go into the latter portion of next week. We'll see some sub-zero morning temperatures, especially where we have the deep snow out there. Here in the valley, you know, single digits above zero, so certainly mitten-worthy weather. Yeah. So all of a sudden we're loving the 30s. I love the 30s. Yeah, the 30s, the 30s are great. In yeah. December especially. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we like in yeah. December. Thank mm -hmm. you. You bet. Nestle